Hi guys, this is Brooke Rogers with the FacePaintForumShop.com. I'm going to be doing this rainbow tiger design for you guys today. And it's going to have a nice little detailed edging, which is really pretty for the girls if you just have an extra minute or two to umph up your tiger design. Hope you guys like it. Let's get started. First thing first, I get some wolf white and I load it up on my 3 4 inch flat brush. I went ahead and put it on the upper lip and then also above both eyes and right below both eyes. And I do that so that whenever you put that black eyeliner on for your cat eyes later, I feel like it makes it pop even more. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of white above each eyebrow where the tiger ears are going to be. And usually what I do is I leave a little bit of that white showing whenever I put the color of the tiger on and that serves as the inner uh, portion of the tiger's ears. But as you'll see later, I didn't do that this time. But it also serves for another reason, which is um, the white can act a little bit almost like a base coat and makes your colors pop a little bit more depending on which colors you're going to use. So I put a little bit all over my cheeks and on my nose, forehead area where I'm going to be loading Party Explosion Gilded Rose on my Fantasy Worldwide Sponge. Starting on my nose, I'm going to go down and then under each eye. Whenever I get the outer portion of the sponge, I'm going to go and work in a circular motion to connect it down to the muzzle. Do that on both sides. Another reason why I put down a little bit of white underneath where I was going to put my rainbow cake is because I'm working with yellow and sometimes I feel like yellow doesn't show up as opaque as I would like and so I feel like that white acts as a base coat to make the yellow be more vibrant. I'm going to keep tapping with the sponge and keeping the yellow to the red on the outer corner of the design still going. And then whenever you're tapping on your ears, making the tiger shape, make sure you're pressing down a good amount so that you can get a good bit of color on the ears. That is definitely a focal point for this design is the ears. You want to make sure they have a nice color blend on them. Since I decided that it looked really pretty but I wanted another color, I picked one of my favorite which is London Sky by Superstar. It's a shimmery color and I don't know if you can tell from the demo but it has a nice shine to it. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on a flat brush and load it on the inner corners of the tiger ears as well. I went in a little bit lower than I would have liked with that London Sky, but that's okay so I can blend it out with my sponge. And now that I like where all my colors are, I can start with my outline. I go ahead and get Wolf White on a number 6 Cornell Round and start with some teardrop shapes. You're going to be moving in an upward motion. All of the teardrops are going to be coming around towards the outer eye. If you guys do some eye designs or masks, then you know that is a focal point that you want to bring all your lines to. And whenever you do your black outline, it's going to come together more. So don't worry if you have some stray lines that don't look quite right. You can clean those up later with the black. Go ahead and finish off your outline with the white. With that same brush, go ahead and get some tag rose and make a cute little pink nose. And I use that same color on the lips. Cleaning up a little bit of spots that I missed earlier. Now you have your number six loaded with a black paint and we're going to go around the eyes. I usually tell the client that I'm going to do their eyeliner first. That way they have a chance to keep their eyes closed for a few minutes while I finish the rest of the design and you don't end up with 
what you see here, which is a double liner. You can make that thicker if you like, or you can just leave it as is, which is what I did. I put that black line on the inside corner of the tiger and then smudge it out with my fingertip. It makes a shadow effect, which I think works with the design well. You're going to continue to outline the white teardrops that you created earlier. And when you're using the black, you want to try to keep the lines a little bit thinner than you did with the white. And I'm doing that by using the tip of my brush a little bit more than when I did the white. I am not pushing down as hard. So I continue to outline and what I would normally do is some of these teardrops would have a little point on them so that I would look a little bit more fur-like. Now bringing the little polka dots up on the inner corners and the outer corners I feel like brings a little bit of dimension into the design and then we're going to go ahead with the black and also do the line down the muzzle and a quick little outline of the muzzle. Now I'm going to add the tiger markings in the middle of the forehead, wiggling my brush a little bit as I bring it down. I'm going to flick it a little bit so that it's thick and then thin and thick and thin again. I feel like the truck to tiger markings is having a thin beginning, a thickness in the middle, and then a thin ending and wiggling the brush at the same time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this rainbow tiger. You can get all these supplies at the facepaintformshop.com. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.